Around 8 years ago, at the first day of medical school, I sat at the classroom and this was our first lecture, the collarbone. I never could have imagined that this small bone would have all these strange Latin words in her description. Everybody was kind of lost, or at least that's how it seemed to me. Hi, I'm the Dallas, and today I'm starting a new series on this channel, combining the two things I like the most, medicine and art. That's why I thought that I should name it the art of the human body. Going through medical school, I always was fascinated by the beauty and the structure of the human body. My study notes always had some side drawings of the organ that I was studying, and I think that helped me a lot to have a better vision and understanding about the topic that I was learning. My idea about this series is to paint as much body parts and the anatomy as I could, and at the end of it, combine it all in one book, or something like that. I still have not figured it out what, but I for sure will enjoy the process and try to film every part of it, so you could enjoy it with me too. I started this channel around 4 years ago, posting some videos of me making traditional art, but I never was consistent about it. I was still making art quite often though. But the process of filming it was always time consuming and somehow I always procrastinated. But now I want to start over, to film and post regularly. This is also the first time that I'm making a video voiceover, so I'm sorry if I sound boring and weird, be nice to me. The collarbone, also known as the clavicle, belongs to a group of long bones. It binds the shoulder blade and the breastbone. It is shaped as a letter S that lies horizontally and every human has two of them, right and left. It is a touchable bone and it can be seen from the outside creating a bulge in the base of the neck. Or at least it can be seen at skinny people who don't have much body fat. Interesting thing about the collarbone is that it is the most common fractured bone on the human body. That is due to direct impact from the shoulder from the force of falling on a stretched arm. The clavicle has two sides, upper and lower side. It can also be divided in three parts, lateral, which connects to the shoulder blade, medial, which connects to the breastbone, and the body of the bone. It has three main functions. It serves as a rigid support from which the scapula and free limb suspended. It protects the neurovascular bundle that supplies the upper limb and transmits physical impact from the upper limb to the actual skeleton. There are so many muscles that bind to this bone, but more about that in the episodes ahead, when I will be painting those muscles. Also, I don't know what to speak during these videos. Should I be talking about that part of the body that I'm painting or something totally different? Let me know if you have any suggestions. I want also to make other kind of videos, maybe some medical lectures, and also to continue with traditional art. You will be informed in time. You can find the digital photo of this painting in the link in the description below. Also, let me know what you think about this video in the comments. Like if you feel like it, and consider subscribing to support this channel. See you in the next episode.